dates have been picked and we chat to the new date couples. Fantastic. Absolutely. Tom and Heidi give us the lowdown from their date in Washington, D.C. The other thing I like about it, like the fact she's a dentist, means there's a little bit more to it. Katie and Vincent tell us what they got up to in Windsor. Look at Katie. Oh, sexy shit. Plus, we follow up the story of a blind date romance from this series. Well, I can't wait another two weeks. I thought that's just going to seem like forever. So I just rang him up and said, are you doing anything this weekend? Find out how Carlos and Rachel are doing, and the losers are a bit gutted. We can solve them a bit later on. Hello and welcome to Blind Date Kiss and Tell here on ITV2. I'm Sarah Kaywood. And I'm Brendan Courtney and I'm back from my holidays rested and recuperated and ready to give you all the top gossip from behind the scenes at Blind Date headquarters. Oh yes to come but it's debriefing time now as Scylla gets to the bottom of what happened when Tom and Heidi parted in Washington DC. Just not with each other. You were really very rude about our Heidi when she was in the swimming pool. Well, what can I say? Like... You said she should have covered up. How do you feel well, about she, she, that? She, she, I, 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 I thought she'd have a thong, yeah, and she, she pr brings out this thing, swimsuit. It's like a pair of boxer shorts. It's like mank. And like, that, I was no, like, what? Tom, that, there's no need to, like... To, I think Tom is basically... I thought he was a gentleman, and he's come across that he's now <laughs> basically not a gentleman. And the comments he made about me in the swimming pool, I just think were just... I didn't make any comments about you in the you swimming know, pool. You know, you've just said them on the VT, though. And they were no, just, just about really your swimsuit, not about you. Oh, it was I just should really... cover up. Well, that's a bit harsh. I think that was quite harsh. <laughs> now, why did but you flirt with her? Have you felt all these well, feelings? Well, we were on a date, you know. She wasn't thought, in your league. We what no, is that, No, money? not at all. I mean... You know, I thought we were on a date. I thought, you know, I've got to sort of, you know, obviously, you know, just get to know her and stuff. But to be honest, she didn't have a lot to say for herself. I mean, in that case, she's a dentist. All she sort of went on about was her, her teeth and stuff. Well, be fair, Tom, you really are up yourself, aren't you? <laughs> Welcome back, Tom and Heidi. Did you like that sharp intake of... <laughs> brilliant, brilliant, yeah. Is there anything you regret saying? Uh, yeah, pretty much all of it. Um, oh, do you? We, we kind of got that um, pressure, didn't we, a little? Yeah, it started to look like, yeah, we started to look a little bit uncomfortable towards the end of it. We were like... Ooh. Well, I was getting a bit of a roasting. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, probably, you know, things you did say were very harsh. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I, I think it was okay for, for the young, beautiful lady to speak up on her behalf at that stage. Is that, go on, is that, is maybe, do you have a little apology, maybe? Yeah, I mean, well, uh, uh, you know, it wasn't really like that on the date, you know, what we, yeah. what was said. Uh, <laughs> was it, was it, was it? Well, t to be honest, like, at the end of the day, we, we both agreed that there wasn't going to be any romance, to be fair to Tom, and um, we just... At the end of the day, the end before of the day. or after him pulling other women? This is after. It was before what he's This is at. the end of the date, though. Sorry, right, right at the end. Oh, right, no, uh, middle before, of the day. Because there was the middle, nothing. Yeah, where are we? There was, there was nothing. But then we agreed nothing, or, you, you know, we, we, nothing we, was going to yeah, happen did, romantically, so... We, um, we, we did have a... Like, we had a few cheeky snogs and everything, and everything was going great. And then we went for a meal together, and we just realised that, although... Um, Tom's like a nice looking guy and everything. In terms of personalities and stuff, uh, we just, we didn't really we're connect. Getting on, so. We weren't like, we got on a lot better afterwards, afterwards. as friends. Yeah, so. I was, it, was it his behaviour that put you off him? Um, <laughs> he d and you have to admit, Tom, you do like yourself quite a lot. You what? do big yourself <laughs> up quite a lot. He has got quite a big Not head. Not at all, it's just joking you, around, come on. You did, I did ask him at one point, I said this on the sofa, I did ask him at one point, you do think you're quite, are uh, you better looking than me? And he was like, Looks on as if I ever. You did say that on the plane no. on the way home. No. You did. You did say that. Would you not mean you're a bit arrogant because you definitely come across as like that? Oh, thanks. Well, I'm you did. Thanks for that. Cheers. I'm not. I'm not. I almost feel sorry for Tom. <laughs> well, well. Like, I tell you, but we have got well, we've got kind of extra evidence, really, haven't we? In the form of our video diaries. Here they are. Hey, how's it going? It's Tom here. Uh, yeah, basically, finally made it to Washington. Things are going like, quite well. I'm getting on pretty well with Heidi. Um, Second night just there. Um, had a bit of a kiss. Not really sure if she's my type of girl, but I don't know. We'll see how it goes, basically. So, what do you think of Washington? Um, yeah, generally a pretty neat one I've seen so far. Uh huh. Big like statue type thing.
There's not an awful lot left, basically. Uh, I'm just waiting for Hyde to get back. Don't know where she's gone. I think she's uh, still doing a bit of shopping. But uh, anyway. I do think I really pissed him off yesterday with the shopping. From what I understand, that Hyde is now she can shop for nearly four hours solid um, in one shop and only come out with a jumper. And that is it. Unbelievable. Well, when we went to the club last night, because I liked R&B music and he didn't. I basically can't stand R&B. We're sort of finding differences. I was like waiting for her upstairs, like she'd sort of gone to the toilet. She was waiting like about 20, 30 minutes to know where she'd gone. But because we sort of split up then. So I just sort of figured she must have gone off and sort of pulled someone or something. Basically just like um, the differences of like each other's personalities and what we want to do and all that kind of stuff, you know? So she told me she had. Um, I think she's just sort of trying to test me or something so you to get a bit of reaction. I don't know, I just don't know if I should say, like, do you fancy me or what? I mean, because to be honest, I'm, I... Anyway, I mean, tonight um, I'm getting suited and booted up. Um, gonna, you know, have, have a good effort to sort of make a move on her tonight, I think. He's obviously like a really nice looking chap and stuff. I'm just not 100% sure if there is some like chemistry there. Um, I think what we need to do, we haven't really gone out and got really like pissed together. So I think hopefully tonight we'll go out, get really drunk <laughs> and just see how it goes. You know, ho hopefully um, get basically get it on for. <laughs> Thank you very much. Very good. Alright, we just had an excellent meal. Um, just finishing up now. I right, just got to the toilet. Um, basically, gonna go clubbing, I think. See, but she's complaining about being tired or something. I'm quite sure what's going on. I'm actually, um, I'm gonna have an early night tonight. I think Tom was a bit pissed off about that actually because he wants to um, go out clubbing. I think I'm going to go out clubbing anyway because it's rude not to on a Friday night if I'm um, in a city not to go clubbing basically. So. Well, basically I ended up leaving, um, leaving without uh, Heidi and ended up going to a club last night and um, literally had an amazing time. Um, also met a really nice girl there. Uh, we ended up, she ended up coming back with me and uh, we got it on. Yeah. Did actually reveal to me today though at the market that that night that I went to bed early, um, he uh, not only stopped to get on me, <laughs> he actually did. He brought back to <laughs> to his room and like had a little bit of a and had I think not that one really. I think our aspirations are just different, so. Um, it's just not that magic, so you know, there's just not a spark that's happening. And especially in the middle, we were getting on really well, and then um, the sort of conversation just literally dried up after a while. We're both like adults, and we both realise that, you know, though on, like as friends, but we get on great guns, but in terms of romantic, maybe there just wasn't that. Zha Zha Jing. Hello! I have to get it. I have to get. I have to get deep down and dirty now. Um, you went copping off on your own. Staying up all night. Oh no, it's a bit, of a, no bit of a naughty boy. <laughs> you were a very naughty boy. Right. Remember, we do know everybody on Blind Date. Was we it, know everything. Was it the one woman? Were there more um, at the same time? No, no, no. It wasn't like that. It wasn't like that. <laughs> Just checking. You got well, to I mean, we, we, we decided like nothing was going to happen romantically. So you know, I'm, I was I was there in Washington. You know. I haven't been there to, ever before, so I wanted to sort of check check the place out, and you know I just had, had a really good time. And sort of, you know, <laughs> Heidi wanted to, she, you know, as, as friends, you know, she wanted to go. And in fairness, as well, well Heidi was, pulled too. Yeah, I did. Yeah. So you know, it's fair enough. Good sports. So let's see what the losers think of John Paul on his date. Do they hold out much hope, or is there no chance? Will it be genuine, or will it be bitter and twisted?